Everton's first visit to Portman Road in 23 years. And the Blues arrive here looking to extend an unbeaten run to four matches in the Premier League. Following that last outing, the 0-0 draw at Goodison against Newcastle before the international break. Well, Ipswich are finally back in the top flight, but having already played seven Premier League games since their return, they are still searching for that first win. Well, there are two changes in the Everton starting 11 from that goalless draw against Newcastle. James Garner is out with a back injury and Oral Mangala drops to the bench. Vitali Mikolenko is fit again and comes in at left back. Ashley Young will switch to the right. And Idrissa Garner-Gay is Mangala's replacement in midfield. Well, it was the 13th of October 2001 when Everton were last here. A goalless draw that day. Can Everton come away with all three points this afternoon? It's an Ipswich side that will certainly show desire and passion. Oh, that's short and... Picked up brilliantly by Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who can't quite apply the finish. Murich was quickly out to the edge of his penalty area. And Calvert-Lewin tried to slip it underneath the goalkeeper. After that mistake there, allowed Calvert-Lewin to intercept and bear down on goal. But he couldn't quite apply the finish after pinching the ball from Luke Wolfenden. Wolfenden. Harrison gets it back. Jack Harrison. Gone again for Decore. And now Mikolenko delivers into the penalty area and delivers rather deep and too far for uh, Calvert Lewin to get anywhere near it. Here's Dwight McNeil. To Corey and Mikolenko again. Now Illiman and Dai. Oh, he's going to find space inside the penalty area to pull it back for Dwight McNeil, who wanted too long to get the shot away, and in the end commits the foul. Well, that was another chance for Everton. They failed to make something of it. Is Harrison. Harrison's ball is deep and Undai's trying to get there. And he might do now, and he smashes it home. A gift that he gleefully accepts. Illiman Undai batters it beyond Muric. And Everton lead at Portman Road. His second Premier League goal for the club. And fired home with venom. Well, it was an Ipswich error, and Everton pounced. McNeil, Calvert Lewin. Well, the keeper just about kept it out. It was a smart shot on the turn from Calvert Lewin. Not sure how much Murich knew about that, but he prevented it from finding the net. Everton close to getting a second. Albert Lewin taking it well and managing to get the shot away. Tarkovsky, that's a great ball forward for Calvert-Lewin. Again, he took it well, needed the intervention of Wolfenden.
corner sent near post and just about kept out by Muric in the Ipswich goal. He got back in time. And Ipswich got another ball into the penalty area. Illiman and Dai got his head to it. Clark. Still trying to find room inside the penalty area. Amazingly, he has done so. And the referee has pointed to the penalty spot as Jack Clark weaved his way past maybe two or three defenders. It's more like Clark kicking McNeil there. And it's going to be overturned. It is a reprieve for Everton. No penalty. Garner Gate. Young. Now Harrison. Harrison's delivery and it flicked away from the goalkeeper who was waiting to collect there. And the touch from Cameron Burgess took it away. McNeil again on set piece duty for Everton. Played short this time for Mikalenko. McNeil. Tarkovsky. McNeil brings it down and manages to squeeze a ball through. And Everton are two up. What a finish that is from Michael Keane. Taken like a centre forward. Oh, that was superb. Michael Keane with a brilliant finish. Well, Sean Dyche has been singing his praises this week. And Michael Keane has just showed exactly what he can deliver in the opposition box. A different angle for the ball into the penalty area. Tarkovsky was having his shirt pulled. And eventually, when this came through via the touch from Dwight McNeil, Michael Keane finished it expertly. Real quality from the centre-back. Ashley Young to take this throw, but that is it. Half-time at Portman Road. A very satisfactory first period for Everton. Illiman and Dai with the rasping drive on 17 minutes to beat Murich. And then Michael Keane finishing like a, a centre-forward in the 40th minute to give Everton this two-goal advantage at half-time. Given away by Ipswich rather sloppily. Calvert-Lewin doing really well. Now he's got Decore galloping towards the penalty area. And Calvert-Lewin is inside the 18-yard box and tries to pick out Decore. It was a good intervention in the end by Ipswich defensively. But Everton aren't done yet. And uh, Muric eventually grasps that one. But Everton were threatening a third there. Great work by Calvert-Lewin. Powerful play. Into the path of Decore. He thought about a shot. He's played in Calvert-Lewin. Scuffs one wide in the end. Took it on the turn. Here's Illiman and Dai for Everton. Calvert Lewin, Dwight McNeil's ahead of him, but it's a weak effort in the end from Illiman and Dai. Hit it on his left foot, and uh, Murich was able to drop on it, really. It's another mistake, this time from Dara Roche. Pickford deals with that from Taylor. Had a bit of room to get the shot away. Actually through the legs of Tarkovsky, but Pickford was behind it. Chaplin. Garnagate. 
for Mangala, and that will be another Everton free kick. And he gets on with it quickly, despite the fact we're in the final seconds of the game, and it's slotted through for Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin for an Everton third, which he can't supply. Again, he's denied by Muric, after he's played in very nicely indeed. Stayed onside. 